They said great, pave the way, change the rain, release the pain, lease you sane, getting paid, trend set it brighter day, dope a rap, tight as set, high and deadly, I'm a fighter jet, journey came. Woman crush when <laughs> what what happened? I was just about to say Women Crush Wednesday. This is for our lady audience, if there is a lady audience, but we're specifically going to talk about the ladies. Listen, Del Exo, and here's where I give all the flowers to Muffins because when the C Stars came to MLW, he was super high on them. He knew about Del Exo. He knew about her other sister, which I always forget her name. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But he, the, he was a fan of them. Yes, sir. He was a fan of them. He wanted her to be pushed. He loved all everything about him. And I'm going to say this, and you guys can talk, because in one match, one, she has done more for the featherweight division than Taya Valkyrie has ever done. This match not only was an instant classic for anything of the future to come from the featherweight division, this match was absolutely amazing. It had the WXW Germany champion Ava Everett versus the current, obviously, Delmi Exo, which we didn't think was going to be a definitive winner. Delmi Exo wins this belt. Now, that means Delmi Exo has to defend the belt and defend the MLW belt. So we're hoping, and I know all of us will agree, we hope to see Delmi Exo in Germany. We think that'll be super cool to see her defend the belt internationally. Um, everything about Delmi Exo and the direction it looks like feels like a great champion. What we did not get prior, we got in just one show. And this makes me feel, okay, Cortavius Bauer has his hand on the button. He understands where it's got to be pushed, and he's pushing that button. Gentlemen, talk to me about some Del Miexo, Ava Everett, Featherweights. I don't care who goes. Let's get it popping. Okay. Anybody? I, okay. I'll, I'll go. I'll yeah. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, this was a great match, and I felt like the the biggest surprise out of it is, again, that we had a clean definitive winner. Like, in these title versus title situations, there, there seems to be, like, an... 75% chance that it's just going to end in like a double count out, double DQ, or someone's going to come in and wreck everything. It was great to see that there was a definitive winner in the match. It was a very, a very banging match. It was, it was everybody played their roles well. Um, and I like, I will out myself as being a little bit ignorant. I was not familiar with Ava Everett's work, but I know what an Ava Everett is now. And like, and I, and as you, as you put it, like, like, uh, uh you know, it made the title feel important. It made it felt like people actively wanted it. And then I will piggyback this off as a point I made like two last week, two weeks ago, is that a champion is only as good as their challengers. And tonight and, and Saturday night, like the title felt important. Ava Everett acted like she, like like that that was her next goal was not only to retain her title, but to take this new crown jewel. And Delmi fought her ass off to keep it and take the WXW Women's Championship. Um, like this, this as you put it, this is exactly what we want in the featherweights. Like people that actively want the title and and even challengers that actively want to take the title. And that's that's what we got. And I'll just keep it short and sweet on that one. And defer to Bill. I'd say uh, excellent analysis there. I think it's like the first time I've, I've actually I've ever said that. Um, wow. Yo, like, I was expecting to have to disagree like, with you. you uh, but no. With Rob? no, no, I just, it, that was an excellent analysis. And most of the time I just, I disagree listen, with him. Uh, finally, no, agree on something. Listen, he is the exactly, self-proclaimed yeah. greatest wrestling journalist in the game. Who is Bill Vink? <laughs> no, Interesting. no, I don't, think I, don't think I've ever, I don't think I ever called myself um, the greatest. I just think I called myself a wrestling journal journalist. <laughs> I embellished a little bit, just a little bit. I don't know anymore. I'm, I'm kind of confused now. Anyway, no, I mean honestly, the match was phenomenal. I, I, I was I, I was able to watch it, and um, realistically, that was a phenomenal freaking match. Probably one, one of my favorite matches of 2023, actually, so far. I mean, there's been a lot of really good matches. That one's in my top three this year. 
for sure. I was beyond. I knew what Ava, what Ava Everett was going to bring to the table. I, I, I believe it or not, I didn't really know much about um, um, Domi XO. Uh, I didn't besides the tie Valkyrie match. So being able to see what both brought to the table, I'm very familiar with WXW. And so I really did believe that um, there was going to be a scree finish somewhere and that someone was going to come down. And the fact that there wasn't, I think, added a lot more to that match. And I can't wait to see the rematch, whether that's in Germany or whether that's down here. I can't wait to see part two. Muffins, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Muffins, before you go in. I was about to go in, bro. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, wait. No. We're an MLW podcast where he admits he knows Ava Everett and doesn't know WXO. Yeah, bro. Ready, 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 ready. Well, well, remember when she, when they were coming in, I, I took time off of MLW. Okay. So my introduction, and there's uh, been like I, two I, years after the holiday thing. I, I stopped watching. The I was debut lit. of the featherweights and what's going on now, and they really didn't do much to push Delmi when the Sea Stars came in. Like they were kind of a tandem when the featherweight yeah. division started because they were busy. Like, and I'm not I'm not ragging on Holiday, but they they were making Holiday look like she was. The, going to be the star yes. of the division. Yeah, yeah so... Her, her whatever will, happened yeah. to her? I have no idea. We're not talking yeah, about happened. that. <laughs> Please. I'll, I'll know ne- next episode, we will do yeah. MLW, Where Are They Now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know those sea stars came in. <laughs> they, were get, they were getting hot. And then they were supposed to have the tournament. And nobody knew what happened to the tournament. And then it turned out to be Holly Dead versus Taya Valkyrie one-on-one. Tell you one and the featherweight has been shit ever since. It, it amazes me that one injury to Ashley Vox basically catapulted Domi Exo into what she is now. Because if oh. it wasn't for that injury, they'll still be tagging together uh C stars. But when, when Ashley Vox got hurt, Delmi had to make a decision of either I'll wait till you come back or I keep wrestling by myself. And thank to her and thank God to us fans, she kept going on herself and look where she has now. She's the featherweight champion. She's a WXW Germany women's champion. All in one night, all in a month, she did all that stuff. And right now, the same thing with uh Kane. This is the opportunity for Kurt Bauer and Elma W to jump on the God Queen train and push her out. She does a lot of indies. I would love her to take those titles with her and defend those titles in the Indies. That way, the MLW WXW title will get some type of shine outside of MLW, since we know now is being taped once a month. You know, when she's out there, dude, push it, push it, push it, push it. Let people know what MLW is, what WXW Germany is, and you know, you could put the train on her. She's a beautiful young lady. Dude, like just market the crap out of her right now. The so, same thing with Kane and do the same thing with her. So let me ask you a question because I I'm Well surprised. here's the thing. Yeah, as much as um uh, yeah, now as much as Court Bauer is you know, not he's clearly not the brightest in the in the bunch. Um, do you really think he's gonna be able to make the right booking decisions here? Like, I'm just I'm 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 asking like seriously I'm, I'm asking seriously especially when it comes to this like featherweight division do you think well, hold on. he's gonna be able now, to really make proper off, decisions? What we can go off of is off this live. This is the first live they had in in, in what in four, four years? years? Yes, four years. They hit it out the park, right? They they crush it. As of right now, you go okay. The one thing we were worried about was and like Rob says, who do you put to make? Um, Delmi XO feel special, right? Yeah, like, exactly. what competition? You gave it Ava Everett. You're like, oh, shit. Who my fight club? Never been hotter. They finally pulled the trigger, right? What's leading up to because next? Because they were forced to. Let's not forget. Hold on. But what's leading up to next, what we don't know, is where we're going to have to start judging. Because you hit it out the park. Now, how do you follow through? It's easy to celebrate the guy who just hit the home run. But you still got a game to finish, so now yeah. court has to do what's well, That's what I'm saying. And so like, now, and like, and like, and like but Rob Cass said earlier, forget. But like Rob Cass said earlier, you're only as good as your opponent. 
if they go into this one month taping because we won't see them again till september when they do the next tapings again in the meantime they could say oh if tell me exo is on this company for this week they should be defending the mlw championship here they could do stuff like that yeah you know and she'll give some good competition in the indies then on her own company and then like rob just said it depends on what's going to happen now moving forward so my question i wanted to throw out there see but now as someone as someone for me who has sorry you keep trying to cut me off there bud so someone who has complete buyers <laughs> like buyers like remorse most of the time and from what we've seen in the past for court bauer that's what i'm saying can we really trust his booking that's what i'm kind of getting at can we actually trust not just because he hit a home run this time how many times he failed before that and so the thing is now can we actually sit there and have some faith in this guy to book properly that's the real question and that is where i don't i don't i don't have much faith in i have i have faith in the, in the talent but i don't have much faith in the guy making the, the decision right. right now you might not yes, have one faith. show one show wait, wait, yes wait. looks great you might not have faith in court bauer i have faith in cortavius bauer i think a new bauer is here and i have faith in the direction i'm just saying what I, i'm sorry I, I i agree with you to a point and i agree with with junior to a point i'm half and half when it comes to kurt bauer because when we're supposed to have faith he just lets us down and then he comes back to kind of bring us back to the faith again and then he cuts us out again so in this case I, i'm with junior in what's going to happen oh, but it's yes. prove it he has to prove it yes exactly we're all I'm arguing kind that. of the same point it's just varying levels of optimism with yes. this too yes uh, thank you that's the word so now because i'm extremely biased and i want to throw amanda leone biasness in there how long until she wins the title i do think oh, that's not a, yet uh, yeah i guess i think that's, that is a question Six, i eight will months. say that i i do think like i'm actually kind of surprised that they he does uh, the court is actually seeming to actually build a proper featherweight division now because he's got a couple of folks you know in, in the roster and a couple like we'll see how long they actually stay in, in, in like tiara james um but like if nothing else i think delmi like if we're not going to bring anybody extra in uh delmi's got at least i think two feuds at least in her which will give her i think six you know six to eight months because Be becca we i think we need to we definitely need to strike becca while she's hot and yes. obviously they're looking to do something with the calling and like i mean that's why they popped up I mean, not to like say we're shoehorning people into the calling for no good reason, but I like that's what there's a reason, man. There's now a woman in the calling. I think that they are going to make a play for all the titles sooner than later. Whether she's successful in that, you know, in that endeavor, who knows? Or, and not to say that endeavor is going to be, you know, next taping or whatever, but, you know, I, I think we definitely have the at least the start of a decent featherweight division. I'm I'm more skeptical about the featherweights being handled properly than I am the World Heavyweight Championship. I, I think Kane will ultimately be fine as long as he doesn't hold the title for too long. Uh, so he doesn't. Uh, so because so, like because well, but look look what happened well, with like on. like like Fatu. Like, I let, felt like Fatu. I feel like Fatu. Uh, like they they like to change the world world title like after it gets a bit cold. Like Fatu held the belt for too long, in my opinion. Don't get wrong, Hammer's moment was great. Hammer's reign totally kind of stalled off at the end. But Hammer, Hammer stalled. It stalled I, off in the beginning too. What I mean, the whole thing well, was stalled on. off. Hold on, Hammer stole can't talk. He's proven that he's a one-trick pony. Rah rah rah, and that's that. Um, Jacob Fatu, he's gonna do the I'm gonna whoop your ass, boy. This 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 that. If you're not a fan of that type of sound, it turns you off real fast. You kind of like, I'm really not into this kind of shit. Well, so, you know, I argue with people on Twitter about how Eddie Kingston is like the best talker there is right now. All right. No, he's not. Eddie Kingston does three things. He screams, he curses, and then he gets louder. That's all he does. That's how it, it, it That's how I feel about Fatu. too. Exactly. <laughs> It sounds um, oh, I will say, like, in, in Kingston's defense, oh, I, will, I will say, I, I feel Kingston is, 
I think Kingston's the realest talker in wrestling. I'm not going to call him the best, but I think well, like what? what he says, he means 100%. Yes. Well, um, always but, so this, this is MLW. We're, okay, we're talking. We're, 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 well, I wanted um, to make the point about too, but right. how long should a champion hold a bill for? Not and for really... Years? Huh? Well, so and, long, two years? And, and that and that I think it and that really depends on on the champ on the champion too. Uh, again, it's again it's how the feuds play out, how the crowd reactions are doing, and whether the champion can and evolve over the length of time. And I will well, they, 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 like, they, they, and I will say this as a fan: Hammer's idea of evolving during his championship reign was going from the long pants to the tights sure, like that sure. was his idea that was his idea of evolving during his championship reign See, and that, i say this as a fan of hammer that's, um that's so, my worry about delby is uh becca is going to becca is going to get the crowd to react to her can she withstand that and will she able to at least be on par with with promo promo versus Beck, well, Beck is going to kill it. Well, but the thing is, it, it's, it's how you, it's how you set it up too. Like, I, what killed Hammer was that they let him go He's live. Boring. Well. Yeah too like but hammers no, can be an okay promo but would they show that he's not an okay promo live and there, there and there's those are two entirely different skill sets if being like witty on your feet like that or be able to you know do a pre-written or pre-planned thing going on and like it really like if they're going to do like yes there's a good chance becca can eat delmi alive because i like delmi but like she doesn't have the personality that becca has but but I think they can counteract that as long as they don't make them go head to head live, in terms of like a promo battle. Don't let them do a promo battle live because Becca will eat your soul, on, or at least eat Delmi's soul, soul on that front. But if they keep the promos, you know, backstage to free tapes and then let Delmi do a lot of the talking in the ring, I think she can be fine on that front. Yes, there's going to be people cheering Becca uh, Becca on, like she will have, like she will win the crowd to her side. But like I don't think she'll be eaten alive quite like Hammerstone was i think Delmi, if she keeps it up she'll have that super face over the crowd thing like i think because she's easily she's, she's easily, got the like, fire she feels like your best friend the girl you grew up with she feels yes. like her it's easy to girl say door. the girl next door yeah yeah it's easy to say i really like this um becca depending on how she goes upon it she's gonna get booed a lot because the way she is but it's still a massive reaction you know um, I think we talked everything extended into somehow the guys. We got one more to go, fellas. So let's get this. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of here. Hey, we're just going to end it on a pipe bomb for no good reason. <laughs> <laughs>